Okay, select no type as featured slider. Then click update. Now you can see everything is working well and we have created our two filters and the fields we have created three fields title field link field and image field the next thing is the basic settings here from basic settings you go to your style it now it's unformatted now we have to create our style so click on unformatted and um, select views new slider as a style views new slider click on views new slider and click update from here you get lots of style options and uh, the first one is image field preset and you can this is the one which we have just created image cache preset we have created a full size image cache and a thumb size image cache and this is what it is so select full size so I want my image to be displayed in a full size and so that I'm selecting a full size image here and style we don't have any style defined so just leave it default and effect this is like you know how your image to be animated like a slide up or left or top or fade fold lots of options like that so I just leave it as random so that I can see all the effects and the animation speed animation time the pause time the directions the control lots of things like that you can set it up by yourself whatever you like you know click update and now we have created style now we have to create a raw style so from raw style click on fields then select view new slider then click update from here select image field as image title field as title link field as link then click update the next thing is everything we have set up so click save now we have to create a new block view so from the left side select block then click add display now we have created a new block using view that's all we now this is a default view and this is the block view now we have set up everything you want we want to work our new slider click save here and go to the administrator blocks and when you scroll down you can see your new featured slider block has been created this block has been created by view just now okay now from here select the region you want your slider to be displayed it's easy just select any region or you can create your own custom region and if you have a custom region you can set it up there or you can put it anywhere you want header left side right side content region now I'm just selecting as content region and save the block now when you go to your front page tada! it's there our new slider is working properly awesome everything is working properly now we got it work everything if you find anything difficulty don't worry to ask me now we have some more things to set up like you know if for some case you have to configure like block settings and in case if you don't want your slider to be displayed on every single page of your site just write here show on only the listed page and type front then save the block and from now on your slider will be displayed only on the front page it won't be displayed anywhere so that's a big advantage so that you can set it up properly hope you could understand all these tutorials and it was very helpful to you and if you find any difficulty you can check my site tutorial also thanks for watching and submit the comments